Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. You know, a little while ago I put up a video where I connected Google Home and the Harmony Hub. And you know, in those days we had to use an application called Stringify to actually make that connection and then go ahead and create little flows they were called on Stringify. But these days now there's a much easier route to go and I've actually been corrected by a number of my subscribers here on the channel. So thank you everyone for kind of commenting on my my previous video. I'll put the link to that video below because the Stringify app is still fantastic and you still can use it to do a little extra with your Harmony Hub and your Google Home. But for now, let me show you how easy it is now to connect your Harmony Hub and control it with your Google Home. Let's get going. All right, well, this is gonna be a pretty quick demo. Now, what I'll tell you I did right off the bat, this is what you have to ask your Google Home. You have to ask it to link to Harmony. So you actually say, hey, Google, link to Harmony, and then, once you enter back into the application on your iPhone or Android device, this is the screen you're gonna get. It says link to Harmony and you can actually tap on link. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna log into the Harmony account that I've already used to set up my Harmony Hub. Now that happens to be a Google account for me, so I'm just gonna tap on that account and then you'll see the list of Harmony Hub. So if you had multiple, keep in mind you can only control one with your Google Home here. So I'm gonna authorize here Logitech and the Google Home to work together and then I'm gonna pick the Harmony Hub. I did end up setting it up twice at one point so I'm picking the second one as it has a lot of activities. Now, here are the activities that I have. So you can see a number of different shortcuts here and so you can add other what they're calling friendly names here to your activity. So if you wanna watch TV, you can actually say, hey Google, ask Harmony to turn on TV, television, DVR, or cable, or you can add another friendly name if you wanted to. So you can also, as you create activities, you can also add these shortcuts. So just keep that in mind. You're capable of creating new names just for yourself. Now on top of that, you could set up TV favorites, so favorite channels again, and if you actually do that inside of your Logitech account, you will get the opportunity to go straight to those favorite channels. Now here's just a few of kind of the shortcuts or the easy statements that you can use. So you can pause your movie, you can turn up the volume, you can turn down the volume, you can turn on Netflix, you can set a sleep timer on your TV, you can do all those kinds of things that you know, basically if you can do it on your remote, on your TV, you'll be able to do it through Harmony. Now, here's the funny thing. Once you've set this up, you really don't have a lot of control within the Google Home application. So there's really nowhere I could find and I'm going through all the different areas where I looked here, but it's not in this application after you've set it up. So the big question is, what do you do after you've set this up? How do you manage your Harmony Hub? So inside the Google Home application, I'm gonna show you really quickly here. We're gonna go into Home Control, and what it was very hard to tell there, but we actually skipped over to the Google Assistant application. So what I'd suggest to you is, if you have a Harmony Hub, download Google Assistant, and we're now over there. Now I'm just gonna hit back on home control and we're now at the Google Assistant interface. So top right, tap up top right and go, you're in the Explore screen here and I'm just gonna type in Harmony here. And what you're gonna find is the start of a Google Assistant app store basically. So here's everything we can do with Harmony. Here's how we can manage it. So you can see that we can unlink our account or we can add shortcut. So I just tapped on add new shortcut and this is the screen we landed on. You can see we can unlink, we can reset the app which is to reset the Harmony app. So you can do a number of things here to manage it. So one other thing here inside the Harmony app within our Google Assistant 
is there is a list of basically every thing we can ask our assistant to do for us in regards to Harmony Hub. So I just clicked the little drop down arrow there. And I mean, there's a couple hundred things you can ask the Harmony Hub here in your Google Assistant application here. So that means you can ask your Google Home just about everything too. Now, I just tapped on Ask Harmony to turn off the TV and it actually goes ahead and executes that in my house. Uh, I'm not giving you the audio, but my Google Home did actually speak to me and say that it was turning off uh, the TV there. But what if you wanted to add a new activity and you've done so inside of your Harmony Hub. We all know we get new devices every once in a while and so you might add a new activity over there. How do you actually deal with that? Well, I'm gonna just ask my Google Home here to refresh my Harmony account. So you can see I just said, okay, Google ask Harmony to refresh my account and it takes about 30 seconds and it refreshes it and then your new activities will be available inside your Google Assistant and therefore on your Google Home. Now let's go ahead, let's do a demo. I'll show you some of the things, how they worked in my system. Hey Google, tell Harmony it's time to watch TV. Okay, let's get Harmony. Turning on TV. Hey Google, tell Harmony to turn down the volume. All right, getting Harmony, lowering the volume. Hey Google, tell Harmony to watch Daredevil on Netflix. Sure, here's Harmony. Sorry, I didn't find an activity or favorite called Daredevil on Netflix. Hey Google, Tell Harmony to start Netflix. All right, getting Harmony. Turning on Netflix. All right, well, there you go. Like I said, it's a lot easier nowadays to control your Harmony Hub. You can see the different commands you have right off the bat. It, it's basically, you can start any device, stop any device, start any activity, or end any activity with your Harmony Hub using your Google Home. So great functionality there, really happy to have that in my home. And I think it makes the device all that more powerful here uh, versus, you know, say my old video there where we were using the Stringify application. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.